In state politics, Republicans have maintained the majority in both the Iowa House and Senate, but Democrats are hoping to change the makeup under the Golden Dome ahead of the next session. Local 5's Elias Johnson shares the key races ahead of November 3rd. National races tend to get all the attention, dominating the political ads we see and we hear. But I got to tell you, local government has way more of a direct impact on our daily lives than the president or offices in D.C. In every election, we see elected officials retire. This year, some key retirements to tell you about. Eight Republican representatives and seven Senate Republicans are hanging it up while two Democrat representatives are retiring, zero stepping down in the Iowa Senate. That's important when looking at the current makeup of the House and the Senate, where Republicans control the majority in the state of Iowa. 32 to 18 seats in the Senate, but a much closer margin in the House, 53 seats to the Democrats' 47. And that is where the opportunity to flip control this election lies. I think it's kind of a, a degree all-in moment for them in the House. It's available. You've had this leadership change, you know, between Upmeyer and, and Grassley. And I, I feel like if, if there's ever a time for them to take control, they better do it this cycle. Local 5 Republican strategist Craig Robinson is focusing on roughly 10 to 15 races that could give Democrats the boost they need to take control of the House for the first time in 14 years. And roughly five Senate races, which won't be enough to flip control, but it would build momentum. There's only 18 Democrats over there. So like the, the change to 21 is very symbolic because then the majority, you know, 25, 26 is in reach. Um, the next time around. So um, I, I, I really think that um, if they could gain three, I mean, I think they would be ecstatic. Another interesting aspect that Craig says candidates should have considered the recent migration of Iowans from rural to urban areas, meaning incumbents better make sure they got their message across to voters during the campaign as they were moving into the big city. In studio, Elias Johnson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.